What's it like when you first get that call from Ofsted to say you're going to be inspected? It is a huge rush of adrenaline. The question you're asking yourself is, am I going to let people down? School inspections were paused before Christmas after a damning report into the death of one head teacher. A coroner ruled stress from a difficult offset inspection contributed to Ruth Perry's death and warned of future deaths if lessons were not learned. Now Ofsted's new boss has responded. As the new chief inspector, I'm determined to do everything in my power to prevent such tragedies in the future. We have accepted the coroner's findings and addressed her seven areas of concern. Ofsted says it will now train inspectors to watch for signs of distress and review how schools are rated on safeguarding. For head teacher Ben Davis, it's a welcome move. I think it sends the right message to the sector that people are listening at Ofsted. However, there's a great deal more that could be done than is initially uh, represented in the report. The Department for Education says it's committed to working with Ofsted during its major consultation in the spring, which it's calling its Big Listen. But one former schools minister says it needs to go further and stop grading schools with just one or two words. Parents can cope with the sophistication of being able to look at how a school's doing on a series of different things. Why would you sum up a whole hospital across all the different things that hospitals do in a single word. Why, why would you do that to anyone? A former school's inspector who set up a crowdfunding scheme to launch a legal challenge against Ofsted remains unimpressed with the proposals. Words are cheap. Action takes more thought. It is good to be wise after the event, but we need inspectors. And at the, currently there is obviously an improvement in Ofsted's attitude. We need inspectors who understand the consequences of their actions. Mrs Perry's sister said if the latest reforms had been in place last year, perhaps my beautiful sister Ruth might still be with us today. But, she says, to prevent other such tragedies, more work was needed towards a radical overhaul of the culture of school inspections. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Salford.